obsolete but neat Robbie Strike here with another Amiga video. Um, this time I'd like to talk a little bit about the sidecar and how it would look sitting next to your Amiga. So when I was doing the setup video I should try to get the Amiga working. Now this sidecar does not work anymore. I think it had a hard drive inside it that died uh, uh, almost decades ago and it's not working. So to get an indication of what works it has the port here which looks like a uh, looks like a Sega Genesis Mega Drive you know, expansion port type thing that would connect to it. Then the two joystick ports are here. Now in the previous videos I was incorrect in saying that these ports here are for uh, the joysticks but I have the mouse plugged in there and my favorite joystick of all time of course the Sega Genesis controller. Uh, it will just slide right in there. So when you have this thing attached you can just use those joysticks there and your mouse and have it. Now this thing, as I said, it doesn't work. And this kind of looks like how the Amiga would be connected. Uh, people, I, I've seen pictures of people with their Amigas online where they have like a stack of extra peripheral drives and whatever. So this is a three and a quarter drive, if I remember that correctly, if I'm wrong. The, no, sorry, this is a five and a quarter. Uh, these have two five and a quarter. And also I have this drive here, I just wanted to show you. <laughs> it's a bit uh, worse for wear, but it's a, uh, it's a three, three and a half, three and a half in, uh, inch drive that uh, apparently, uh, I think last time I used it, it still worked. It just had this front part broken off, but it actually still works. Um, one day, if I had the money, I'd love to get one of those um, um, USB drive, disk drive, image readers for the Amiga because I could do so much more with it I think uh, than just having the uh, small library of, of titles that I have now. Uh, so I'm going to Amiga On which is an Amiga Ontario event in Brockville this week so maybe somebody could help me with that. I don't know, we'll find out. We'll get some footage. I'll get some footage from there. Oh yeah, another thing I didn't mention is also the Amiga has this, like, I'm not going to take this thing off because it's a bugger to get back on, but it has this RAM expansion port right here, where you, and I don't have any in here, but uh, yeah, there's an expansion port here, and there is a disk drive there. So, okay, I'll, I'll give you a closer look of what we have going on here, and I'll try to put it together, and just to give you an idea what, what I have going on here. here is there's the ports there. So there's the two joystick ports and you just gotta line it in with those ports there. And then you just run it through there. Now, I'm not even gonna bother powering it up. I don't know if it works at all. Um, but yeah, just uh, this is what would give you DOS capabilities on the Amiga back in the day. So you could take this and just sorta I don't know if I'd be able to get it in or if I could even get this thing in. It doesn't even line up the best with the Amiga. I think this is like pretty awkward to stick this thing on it. <laughs> I just gotta see that's lined up. It's actually quite awkward to get it in there, especially now that it's so old. So the sidecar definitely I guess there's a little bit of a gap there. You can see where a little bit of a gap between there. And just the way it hangs, like there's a little bit how that would work. Makes the computer much bigger. People watching this video probably are from like the 80s and 90s. Um, but yeah, we'd, we'd use the mouse and we'd always want to have like a, kind of a felty feel mouse pad for so the trackball inside the mouse would work properly. So yeah, Amiga sidecar for DOS and expandability for the hard drive and all that stuff. Because I don't know if you can put a hard drive in there. Some of the later Amiga 500s and stuff, I think they could put a hard drive inside them, but I'm not sure if you can put it inside this one. Another thing I didn't mention, I've taken it apart before, but you can find pictures of it online. Um, there was a bunch of autographs of all the developers of the uh, Amiga team. Um, RJ, Michael, Dave Needle, and and um, 
left, Sam Morris and uh, Mitch, Mickey the dog, Mitchy the dog, and uh, J Minor. That's I'm trying to think of J Minor's name. J Minor, who was, um, he's kind of a hero of mine because I use his stuff. He developed, he helped develop the Atari 2600. He helped develop the uh, Atari 400 and 800, and which is also the Atari XE technology that I used a lot of back in the day. And um, when he left Atari, I think he left to go do like you know, uh, for past um, work for a company doing pacemakers uh, and things like that. And um, then he uh, co-founded with uh, was it Sam Morse. Uh, Amiga, and then they uh, uh, started that, and they actually had products before they were bought by Commodore. Like they had a, it was very limited, but they had like a board. It was kind of like a Wii Fit board that uh, uh, was was for the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. If you look it up, there's probably a game for it, Amiga game, whatever it was. You could check that out on YouTube. <laughs>